with your foot steering system you should receive two lengths of cable housing two lengths of 1 stainless steel cable along with a number of crimps and some cable housing ends two lengths of bungee cord your motor cable bracket uh, this is dependent on which motor you have uh, there's two versions one for the Newport 180 and then another one for the Newport NK 300 and then there's the Torquedo make sure you pick which motor you have when you order your kit small length of shrink tubing you will also receive two H-rail clamps and two L-bracket clamps along with a set of SELEC pedals. A few tools that you may need a screwdriver a set of cable cutters which you can use any type of cutters that uh, will work for you a couple crimp pliers you can always use uh, just regular pliers to crimp your cables your cable housing when you cut it sometimes collapses you'll need to open up the end inside the block uh, housing there's a stainless steel um, sleeve inside as well as a plastic sleeve uh, you'll need to open that up to get your cable through you can use some type of pick I've used a thumbtack in the back in the past they also have these bicycle pliers that have this neat little tool on the end that kind of opens it up Before I cut my stainless steel cable, I like to use some super glue over the area I'm going to cut first. This helps uh, stop the cable from fraying. Your SELEC pedals will come with an extra set of holes drilled in them. One on the slide rail and one on the actual pedal assembly itself. This is for the uh, bungee cord. Pretty simple. Put the cord through, just tie a knot, put the cord up through this way, tie a knot, and then it goes in. You're going to need uh, four inches of space from here to here uh, when you finally get your fitment done. That's a, to ensure that you've got enough motion to uh, turn the motor. Now you can move on to assembling the brackets to your pedal assembly. There is a left and a right hand side for this. So here would be your normal orientation of how you'd have your pedals. Uh, so this is your, uh, your left H rail bracket, which will go on here. And your left L bracket. And same for this, your right and your right. In order to start attaching your H rail bracket, just simply undo the wing nuts. This part. Pretty simple. So add your add 
had the lock nut. Now you want to get that butted right up against it and then tighten it up and just repeat that for the other side. Now we can move on to installing the T-Track L bracket. It's pretty simple. What you want to do is add your screw and add the washer in between the L bracket and the, the slider. This just kind of gives a little bit more room to uh, for the wing nut when it's on there. So at this point, if you wanted to, uh, you could attach your cable and your cable housing. Simply just pull up your end. Put one of your crimps on, take a small section of uh, shrink tube, loop it through the eye. into the crimp now you want to kind of get this as tight as possible as short as possible once you get that there I've got a set of crimping tools but a good set of pliers will work as well just make sure you get the nice and crimped you don't come apart on you. Slide your shrink tube on. Just shrink up your tubing a little bit. With your cable housing as in previous i've got a little tool but you can use anything to open up the end like so make a quick test with your cable don't forget super glue before cutting yeah it's going to fit in well you can take one of your end caps put that on there first Slide the cable in. And push your end cap all the way down in. And just work it through. in tighten up your allen key you can kind of run it like this get everything uh, positioned on your kayak figure out your what you're going to need for the length of your cable housing and uh, you can run it like this for now but remember when you cut your cable housing to back the cable all the way out so that you don't cut that short so with your pedals in line up your pedal so it's even with that, that'll be your most comfortable position where the kind of your length that you're at. Give yourself four to four and a half inches space, space in here. Once I like to clamp it in place, to secure it. Once I have the pedals in their position I like, secured, locked down, I like the trace my cables back the route that I want to have it lay once I get it an idea of where exactly I want it to lay I'll start wire tying it 
secure. I like to use these pad eyes at the back here. And then another one up here at the rail. Once we have our cable housing cable run secured where we like it, now we'll cut it to length, get our position here where we like it, mark our spot. Don't forget, we gotta back the cable out so that we don't cut the cable. Simply grab onto the cable, back it a few feet out. That should be good. Once we cut the cable, don't forget to open up that end so that the cable can come through. Now you can slide your cable end cap on. These aren't 100% necessary, but it cleans up the end a little bit. But should you happen to lose it, you can get you can get them off of Amazon fairly cheap. They're for five millimeter brake cables, but uh, like I said, they're not 100% necessary. Again, snug up your set screw so the cable doesn't move. Don't get too crazy again. This is just into plastic, but you want it snug so that it doesn't pull out, but not so snug that it collapses. So at this stage, you want to secure your motor in place. Make sure it's in the position that you want it. Put your reverse lockout in and put the fix pin in so that it doesn't rotate. Okay, you want to install your clips and your cables around. Get the crimps in. If you want, put your shrink tube on at this point. And then before we do anything, let's get the other side installed as well. So with these, you want to pull up any slack that you have and then crimp it. Make sure there's no slack because you'll lose a little bit of your turn of motion if you do that. Uh, but you don't want to <coughs> you don't want to pull so much that uh, you're pulling your motor up and it's always got tension on it. Now that we got everything crimped and installed, got the shrink tubing on, pull the fixed pin out, release reverse lockout, pull our clamps off, and let's give her a test. So here we have it, all installed, ready to go.